another beautiful day here in Chestermere. There we go. We'll just get the little walk around here. I will show you what is around. So you will have a, a good reference of about how beautiful neighborhood is the cove. Super quiet. We are about around midday. That's what is happening here. Not a lot of traffic. Have a good one. Neighborhood. And neighbor are super, super uh, wonderful around here. So, hey. Yeah. So, like you can see, the house is just over here. Down in the, in the coot sack. And right on it, we're on this beautiful open landscape. Well, not necessarily call it a park, but we're going in a park. So we have a beautiful unleash uh, park just over there. It's about, I would say, less than 10 minutes walk. There we go. I guess I'm a little bit uh, counter exposed, but you will see. Again. Really, really quiet neighborhood. Obviously, like I said, it's uh, it's noon, but it's not a school day. So you have kids playing. I was back with air. Uh, I'll just do a little panorama here. Super big open space, like you can see. This is where we are going. That's where the beach is, just on the other side of the road, literally less than five minutes walk, you're in the beach, no joke, on the beach. So what is great with the, the Cove community is at this moment they are restoring the beach, so any kind of new corner in the area will have this wonderful new beach, beautiful place for kids to play on. You will see they build a big boat. <laughs> that looks awesome. It's kind of uh, obviously because it's construction. It's a little bit uh, messy right now. But obviously they will clear uh, everything up. <sighs> what a beautiful day. It's a little bit chilly. This is why I have my jacket. But yeah. And we're almost on the lake. <laughs> it's how close it is. <sighs> Chestermere is a really, really fast growing community. It's what makes it really uh, extraordinary to live on. <coughs> and because it's developing so fast. Well, for first it was a town, so Chestermere became a city to give them a little bit more power in terms of um, zone age and things like that. And two years ago, Chestermere bought a big land. In fact, they bought two uh, parcel of land for light uh, commercial and, uh, and uh, yeah, for commercial and light industrial. Sorry, there we go. Oh, oh, and we are at the beach. I'll try to kind of show you. Who's over there? That's the beach. It's how close it is. No joke. It's really how close it is. Ugh. Okay, wrong end. There we go. That's better. Well, we have construction sign everywhere. I will try to sneak out here. Don't see everybody. I'm not seeing any constructor there right now. We will try to have a little sneak peek of the beach. So again, because you have this neighborhood just a little bit back of us, that is in the, right on the, the lake, obviously those houses are really, really expensive. Well, really expensive. Every, everything is relative, obviously. But they're million, million point five, kind of ish. Yeah. 
So that give this community, especially in the cove area, this plus value. So because those house have this plus value, well that also means that the entire community have a plus value. So I will show you the back of one house, you will see how humongous it is. And that beautiful uh, solar panel. But, oh yeah, let's try to have a sneak peek on the beach. I'm not seeing any constructor here. Uh, can we? Oh, they really close and tight. But, wait, I'm sorry, I will look over the fence. But it's just over here. <laughs> this is not that crazy. You're on the beach. Five minutes walk. Not even five minutes walk. And if you're on a bicycle, yeah, you barely have the time to go on. <laughs> so the lake here, we will pass over the dam a little bit uh, later on. But the lake here has a little uh, uh, creek. Yeah, it's a little creek over here. Oh, there we go. So it brings fresh uh, water so the water is not stagnant here and because that little creek flush just on the other side i will show you just on the other side of the, the dam well you always have fresh uh, fresh water so the water is not stinky and you don't have uh, algae there's a boat oh no that's not the boat where is the boat oh there it is Ugh, there we go just there <laughs> that's the boat that they're building and they have uh, we will see it better on the other side. Yeah, swing. They have an entire new uh, equipment for a child. The other thing too, I don't know if it is. I guess it will still be there. But they used to have a, a volleyball court. And just in front, I will show you, we'll pass right beside. We have this beautiful tennis court. Oh wow. That's pretty fantastic what they built there, eh? There you go. That's what I'm talking about, those swing over there. With the big boat. And the tennis court. It's over here. So we are just going over the dam. And we will cross really quickly. So I can show you the Unleash Park. Again, beautiful tennis court five minutes and usually I don't know if it's still there but usually you have a volleyball court over here so you can play volleyball on the beach and uh, well yeah you can just come and drop your little uh, canoe or kayak if you like that kind of activity and here's the dam we'll go to see it on the other way Crazy the pressure, so much water. Oh boy, yeah, it's steep. really steep. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Look it up. So, I don't know if you can see it just over here. This is where uh, the water from the other beach comes. Get out. Yeah. Oh my god, it's steep. Okay. I guess we will pretty much end up the tour around here. Now my arm is painful. Um, but yeah, here we are on the Unleash Park now. So people just uh, let go their dog. Like this one over there. <laughs> I will try to show you. Uh, other way. I don't know where it is. I don't see it. Anyway. But yeah. Some duck. No joke, some duck. I'll try to show you here. There we go. A little bit, a little bit more easier. So, little duck. Guys with his dog uh, that is swimming over there. <laughs> and all that park, all the way through uh, Chestermere Station, is uh, Unleashed Park. This is usually where I go to to run it's um, from the house to um, the Tim Martin is about uh, 2k so both sides it's a 4k run 
and all that neighborhood over here so all those house are all brand new house and what I mean by that is less than two years no kidding it's all fast uh, Chester is developing so when I bought the house four years ago from there so all those house here were not there so all those one are brand new house uh, I forget the name of the community I think it's Lakeview but um, so you have a couple of attached house over there they're directly on the highway though so it's a little bit less interesting and what is uh, sad with this community well this community is not too bad because they're pretty uh, pretty well uh, shelter but just on the other side um, you could have a pretty big oops, there we go. you could have pretty big uh, commercial development or industrial so this is what is great with the cove area the cove is already enclosed and you're right on the highway one so you have an exit right on so for me for example i'm working in all black north of chestermere so just a little bit the south of Airdrie. 24 minute drive no traffic every day every day and what is beautiful here too is you can take uh, chestermere boulevard so the bridge that you're seeing uh, just behind me, Oops, the other way, just over here, to the bridge. Um, that's uh, Chestermere Boulevard, and that one gives direct access to the 17th uh, Avenue, south, uh, southwest, southeast, southeast. And uh, yeah, from there to downtown, even in heavy traffic, I mean 17th Avenue, we, we know it, it's always a little bit uh, clogged, but because you are already on it you don't have to insert yourself on it and this is most of the time where it's so hard is to get to the, the main uh, street but here you're coming right on it so from here to downtown even in heavy traffic it's usually less than 25 minutes uh, yeah it's about 25 minutes right downtown right downtown I was working on the the stamping ground two years ago and yeah I would say it's about 25 minutes run so yeah that's the cove area welcome to Chesimere come and visit you will see you will love it you will enjoy it and you will want to stay okay take care